In my time at Iowa, I've interacted with many individuals who work in professional baseball, whether that's been through interviews or just random meetups at games. And I realized that I kept getting the same questions over and over again. So today's video is going to be covering just that, showing you how to convert yourself from an average Joe to someone I like to call a saber hero. Today's video will be covering the four skills you need to get a job in baseball. But before we jump into it, I was wondering, are these experiential videos something you'd like to see more of? Let me know down in the comments section below. So let's jump into it. These skills really can be broken down into two categories, verbal or communication skills, and then some physical skills that really aren't too hard to learn. The first skill we will cover today is the ability to speak Spanish. I know, not what you expected, right? It was never something I thought of until I began applying for positions, but it makes sense. Let's look at the numbers. Looking back to the 2018 opening day roster, 241 out of the 750 players were born outside of the United States. And of those 241 players, over 75% of them were from native Spanish-speaking countries. And this is just on the big league roster. You can see an even heavier Spanish influence as you start to maneuver through all the different levels of minor league ball. Simply having the ability to communicate with all players on the field is a way to truly set yourself apart from the rest when trying to set yourself a path in professional baseball. Now, let's talk about the other language you need to learn, and that's nerd. Now, really this is going to be another thing that you need to translate to the other staff and players, from nerd to normal everyday talk. And when I say nerd, what I mean is the acquired skill to translate what numbers are being spit out by the different technologies used today into something that anybody can understand. This can be visually done through different coding programs like R, SQL, or Python, or simply just understanding what the numbers mean and being able to explain them to others. But hey, that's why you're here, right? This channel is all about making these complicated numbers a little simpler, so you're in the right place to refine this skill. Now let's jump onto the other side of the ball and cover the other two physical skills that you need to get a job in baseball about them. The two skills are the ability to hit a fungo and the ability to throw BP. Sounds pretty easy, right? Well, just because you can throw and hit a baseball doesn't necessarily mean that you've mastered these two skills. It takes practice. A good benchmark to aim for when you're first getting started is a 75% success rate. This can be a 75% success rate in throwing strikes or hitting the ball somewhere where a player can field it. Let's note that when I say 75% success rate, it doesn't mean that every fourth ball should be sent to a different planet. These are two skills that are often overlooked when applying for on-field possession. So make yourself stand out and become an expert at them both. So that's it. That's the four skills that I believe everybody should learn if you're trying to set yourself apart from the rest of the pack when applying for jobs in professional baseball. These are things I've heard in almost any interview or meetup that I've had, whether that's an in-person interview or even over the phone. I am confident that if you are able to master all four of these skills, you will be able to find a job in baseball. And that's what I've got for you today. So if you like this video, please leave a like. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions for a future video. Click the video on the right to see more of my content and subscribe for more weekly baseball animations.